number one is the ellipse in the ellipse as I said uh, we are going to have two important methods number one is of our circle method and the next one is oblong method before moving into the methods let us know something about ellipse So generally the elliptical shapes are going to be in this format. This is an ellipse and generally an ellipse has a larger axis, two important axes it has. One is a large curve one and the another one is a shorter one. This uh, larger horizontal axis is the major axis and this vertical smaller axis is the minor axis. So this is our major axis and this is our minor axis and we are going to have two fixed points which are nothing but foci focus 1 and focus 2 and a plural form is known as foci in the questions you are going to see them as fixed points so two fixed points we are going to have the fixed points are going to lie on the major axis f1 and f2 so these are the two fixed points how we are going to attain these two fixed points we shall learn in the next class and uh, let us move for the next uh, next one let us learn about uh, arc of circle method that is for the ellipse construction Generally the questions are going to be, I will show you a few things. See here guys, under Conex, arc of circle method and oblong method. Let us uh, take the first question we have. The major axis of an ellipse is 150 mm long and the minor axis is 100 mm long. Find the foci, okay, F1 and F2 and draw the ellipse by arc of circle method. And in the same question, he is asking us to draw a tangent to the ellipse at a point on it 25 mm above the major axis. So let us construct the curve. So we have the major axis of the ellipse is 150 mm and minor axis of the ellipse is equal to 100 mm long. So let us see. So here we have major axis of the ellipse 150 mm and minor axis 50 mm so 10 mm is nothing but 1 cm guys just remember so I am taking the scale here is the one so as I said it's 150 mm 150 mm is nothing but a 15 mm scale 15 centimeter scale okay I am going to take the center that is 7.5 so here it is okay now we shall draw the minor axis which is about 50 mm sorry 100 mm which is 100 mm so 100 mm in the sense 5 mm to the top and 5 mm to the bottom so this is our minor axis So we finally got the major axis and the minor axis. Now we need to find the foci F1 and here and F2 over here. How to find the major axis or uh, foci on F, uh, foci F1 and F2? So take this is half of the major axis. Okay, this is completely okay. 150 mm of major axis. Take half of the major axis. Okay, so half of the major axis is this part. Okay, or this part. Okay, take half of the major axis as radius and keep at one end of the minor axis and cut the ox on the on the major axis on the, both the sides understood guys take half of the major axis and keep at one end of the minor axis and and cut it on both the sides so that we are going to get the foci f1 and f2 so this is f1 and this is going to be f2 so now 
this is the center of the ellipse and let us consider the ends of the major axis as a and this end as b so the distance from f1 to 0 has to be divided into some particular number of points so let us take three points you can take anywhere else of your own wish i am not measuring any equal distances over here so take any parts at anywhere without any equal measurements right now how to construct the curve the first part take a to 1 as radius okay so take a to 1 as radius fix this radius and with f1 as center cut the ox on the top and as well as at the bottom with the same radius move here keep it on f2 as center and cut the arcs now with a to 3 as a to 2 as radius with f1 as center cut the arcs at the top and cut the arcs at the bottom and go to f2 as center cut the arcs at here and arc at the bottom now with a to 3 as radius f1 as center cut the axe at the top and an arc at the bottom with the same radius with f2 as center let us cut the arcs at the top and as well as at the bottom so we have taken a21 a22 a23 as radius now in the similar manner we have to take b21 b22 next b23 so the first part is b2 So B21 as radius. Okay guys. So B21 as radius. Now F2 as center. Cut the previous arcs over here and here. With the same radius and F1 as center. Cut the previous arcs. Fine. Now with B22 as radius now. F2 as center. And let us cut the opposite arcs. And with the same radius. Now with F1 as center, let us cut these two previous arcs. Fine. Now finally, B2, 3 as radius, F2 as center, let us cut the previous arcs. And now F1 as center, let us cut the opposite curves. This one, this one. Finally, we got all the points P1, P2, P3. So now it's time to join all these points to get our curve. With a free hand, I'm joining all these points. So without any kind of error, we are going to get a very good fine curve. So this is the construction of ellipse guys. Hope everyone understood.